Hi guys, magicatsreviews.blogspot.com <clears throat> uh, Today I'm going to show you how to get the multi-flow dock that I have at the bottom here of my iPad um, to show you how to get as many icons as you want and um, basically control the dock of your iPad. I'm also going to show you how to get as many icons as you want on your springboard of your iPad so you can have you know loads you can also shrink and expand the amount of icons that you have on your springboard so they fit in and look better. Um, so we're going to start off first of all with the scrolling dock down here so that you can basically have as many icons if I show you here you can have as many icons as you like you can just drag and drop them into your dock and you will have as many icons as you like and you can just scroll through them and you get control of this as well so the first step we're going to do we're going to go into Cydia um, once you've got Cydia open let Cydia load we're going to go into Cydia here um, you're going to go down to search in Cydia and what you're going to search for for this package is called Infinidoc. So you're going to search, search, search Infin, I N F I, and then basically the top ones that will come up there will be you'll have Infiniboard, Infinidoc, and Infini Folders. You can use all of these as well. I mean, Infini Folders is great for iPhones um, because the iPad is not on on four yet, um, so you haven't got the folder options on iPad. So that's why we use Categories. Uh, which was in my other video. So basically you're going to select InfiniDoc. Um, this is a, I believe, a small paid package. I think it's $199. So you're looking about a pound, basically, for UK. Um, follow the instructions to install this product, basically. At the top there, you're going to click Install and follow the on-screen instructions to install InfiniDoc. It's an invisible, it won't put an application on your desktop or on your springboard. It's an invisible program. So this will be, you'll need to go back to your desktop into settings. Um, and then in settings on the left hand side you will see InfiniDoc will be installed there. Basically you can control the amount of icons that you'll have on the page. Um, the page to start the InfiniDoc app has the scrolling on and off, paging on and off or scrolling snap on and off. So it will snap to each page as you go through it. So that's InfiniDoc guys, that's the next application for you there. Basically, as I said, that's going to be through Cydia. Um, you're going to need to search InfiniDoc and install InfiniDoc and then you will have on your springboard, you will be able to put as many icons as you like down into your dock bar to control it like that, which is absolutely brilliant. Magic out, that's the next app. Bye bye. So guys, the next view I'm going to show you, the next application is going to be Iconoclasm. This is how to get all the icons that you like on your desktop. You can control them. Um, you can also use, um, with Iconoclasm, use another thing called Multiflow, which will enable you to go up and down, left and right on your springboard. Um, it's a little bit confusing for me, so I just stick to the page by page, because obviously you can have enough icons on the page. And also how to shrink them down. So this one, again, you're going to need to go into Cydia. Um, this is a paid package that you're going to need to search for. It's called Iconoclasm. So search Icon O. Once you put Icon O, there you'll see Iconoclasm will be the top one that you'll get there. Um, you can also see, as you see here, you'll see set formats for the springboard. So you can have 7x7, seven 7x4, seven, seven um, different types of Iconoclasms that you will need to install with that as well. So once you've searched Iconoclasm and you've found it, click on to install and follow the install instructions for Iconoclasm. It is a pay package, but believe me, it's worth every penny that you pay for it. It's only cheap, um, but it is worth every penny. So follow the install instructions for Iconoclasm. You could also install a few of the actual settings if you want to which are 9x8 for the iPad, which you can see there, which are layouts, so you can have M-shaped layout and L-shaped layout. You can have layout in the initial of your name if you want to on the springboard of your desktop, uh, your iPad. So, once that's installed anyway, that will be back into your settings page again. Once you've gone, once you've gone back into your settings, as you can see, if I can get back into it here, you will then see on the side you will see iconoclasm and basically that will give you all the controls you can enable or disable and 
you can manually control the rows and the columns if you would like to on your springboard or you can you can just apply the settings in the layout and I have selected the 9 by 8 layout which is plenty good enough for me you can get plenty on your springboard um, it's absolutely amazing it's brilliant now with this one you should use a program called shrink so this is free apps here which I'm showing you um, you've gone from showing you InfiniDoc to Iconoclasm and I'm now showing you Shrink. Shrink will now let you shrink the the, the icons and the applications down which are on the springboard to make them fit the, the springboard better so they look better in the view. You can scale them, you can do the dock icons as you can see there or you can do the page icons. Um, you can make the icons stand out more, you can shrink them down if you want to from 100% you can go down by 5% or 10 percentage down to each one. I mean the way I set my springboard they can stay as they are because they all fit on the page and they look good to me and my dock as you can see I can fit them all in there and they're brilliant so they're all on 100% but if I was to put more icons on the page I would use shrink and then shrink the icons down a little bit so they all fit in and look good. So guys, there you go. You've got um, you've you've there you've got iconoclasm, which is obviously for your springboard to get as many icons as you like on your springboard, and shrink so you can shrink down your icons, and also InfiniDoc so you can get as many icons as you like in your dock there. Now the next one which I'm going to show you um, is going to be multi icon mover. So basically, when you select your buttons like this, you can hit as many as you like um, as you can see here I'm selecting five icons from that page I want to put them onto this page here hit the home button and hey presto um, you give it a second there you go they all appear onto that page there so that one is called mighty multi icon mover not mighty multi um, and again you go back into Cydia with that one um, and basically just search multi uh, and you will see there will be a few m-u-l-t-i search multi and if you scroll down you will see multitasking that you can enable if you want to um, multi icon mover that's the one you're looking for there and this one is a free app which will basically enable you to select as many icons as you like and move them from page to page so make sure you install that one as well Thanks guys, Magic's out, Magic's at reviews.blogspot.com, um, please subscribe, check the web, and um, take a look at my videos guys, thank you very much.